today's video, I'm going to show you how I cook a mean ass Texas brisket on my L rig. Hey, I'm Cosmo. If this is your first time here, on this channel we cover everything barbecue and grilling. So make sure and smash that subscribe button and click that bell so you don't miss a thing. Because on today's video, we're going to be knocking out this ginormous pack of brisket. And man, it smells wonderful. We got her uh, injected with our reserve blend, a little bit of moisture magic in there. Um, we got a rub with cow cover hot, a little bit of Texas beef. We have our L Ray running at 350. I always put my big meats on hot, and we're ready to rock and roll this sucker. Alright, so let me bring you up to speed here. We've trimmed, injected, and rubbed. And if you want to watch that video, click right up here. We have our L Ray running about 350. We run a hot fire. You want to check it? Come check this out. So, this is my charcoal basket. And there's a reason why I run it like that because all the coals will funnel down to the bottom. And then that way, when I'm ready to throw on a piece of wood, I just simply throw it on and it takes straight off. You guys will see that here in a minute. So the plan is, this is gonna be a hot and fast brisket on the L-Ray. I'm looking to knock it out. It's gonna take a little bit longer on here than it is on a can. Probably about five hours, I'm guessing-ish. But that's what we're gonna do. We got it on, I put it on at 350. I have my pit pegged at 350. And what that does, a lot of people don't even know this. When you put that beef on at a higher, higher temp, it's gonna pop up. And you'll see it here in a minute. It, it, it'll pop up and it'll swell up on us. And that's exactly what I want because it'll hold that shape throughout the cook and you won't get a lot of them nooks and crannies. You may still have a couple down in the thin part of the flat, but you know, it is what it is. So we're gonna get the color we want on this. I'm looking for a nice mahogany and then we're gonna get it wrapped up with our brisket mop. Dude, this thing's gonna be stupid good. Stick around. So it's been right at about 45 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and check it out. Our temperature's dropped a little bit. I had the door open, just showing. But you can see it swole up a little bit and the, the bark's looking good. She'll be ready to wrap before too long. And that's the benefits of uh, going hot and fast. Love it. So I just added these two logs. So I'm wanting to build my charcoal bed up and I don't have it cracked. I mean, it's, it's barely open as you can see. And we're right at about an hour and a half. I'm gonna go ahead and spritz it. I use water. That's what I, I've been doing lately. Uh, the reason why is anytime you add uh, fruit juices or things like that, the sugar content in here can mess with your bark or get it darker. Uh, a little too fast so that's just why I use water and the other reason why is, is it doesn't change the flavor that I'm shooting for so let's take a look at it and that's it we uh, will come back and check her out in about uh, 30 minutes so hey man you guys tell me down in the comments below how do you cook your brisket? Is it like this? Do you use a stick burner? Use a pellet cooker, a can? Tell me down in the comments below. I read your comments. And if you're not subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. All right, so at this point, we're gonna go ahead and make the wrap that we're gonna put inside the foil of the brisket. And for this, it's, it's super simple. Cosmos Cube Brisket Mop. Now I'm gonna mix this with two cans of beef consomme, and this is just gonna blow your mind. I'm looking to dump in here right at about half a bottle, which is right at about six ounces, a little bit over, and I just measure it out. And then two cans of beef consomme. Get that all incorporated. And when we're ready to wrap, I'll dump this right in there. And this stuff is gonna take your brisket to another level. I mean, there's nothing like this on the market. This is the only one. So this is gonna be a must for your brisket. So get it while you can right now. Let's go wrap this brisket. All right, so she's the color I'm looking for. So I'm gonna pull her out and get her wrapped up. Amazing already. I try to wrap the easiest way known to man. Get my 
draws you out. Save a little bit for later. So up until now, all we've done was cook the color. Now, this is, this is what I do. You guys don't have to do it. I always cook in a pan because I figure if there's gonna be a tear in the foil, I'd rather keep the au jus. So I always just cook in a pan, so, you know, it's just kind of what I do. You do you, though. Sling that sucker back on. And here in about an hour, we'll get a probe in it so we can just monitor the temperature from outside without opening the pit. Now, right about now, I'm gonna throw another log on it and get it fired back up. It's got a little short piece right here. And we're burning uh, pecan wood. This is 100% pecan wood. And it's all hardwood from the center of the pecan log. As you'll notice, there's no bark on anything. That's about it. We'll see you probably in, I guess, about an hour. To you guys, it'll be like that. To me, it'll be about an hour. So I'll see you then. On my pecan. All right, we're gonna stick our little thermo pen dot in there. And I'm just going right there in the meat. I'm gonna stop it at 210. So it'll probably take about another hour, hour and 15 minutes, and uh, I'll see you then. So we're setting about 170. I'm gonna go ahead and I'll probably drag it a little bit closer to the fire. Hopefully we'll get it done pretty quick. Ah, right, see you about 45 minutes. 210, 211. So we're gonna let this thing rest for about 30, 45 minutes, and then when we come back, we're gonna slice it up for you. Alrighty, so she's rested. We're gonna get her pulled out and get it turned around the other way. It smells amazing. That, uh, that brisket mop au jus, I wish you could smell that. I'm gonna go ahead and separate this flat from this point, and if you look right there, there's the fat seam. All you gotta do is just run your knife right down it. Boom. My guess, like uh, slice fatty and slice lean. So I'm gonna put this back here. I'll slice that when I'm done. A lot of people don't know this. The point and the flat, the grains run two different ways. That's why I separate them, because I'll slice them both different. And if you wanna make burn ins, this is the part where you uh, cube it up, throw it in a box and make burn ins. Uh, we're gonna slice it so it doesn't matter to us. Boy, this thing cuts like butter. And this is the benefit, look at all this juice. Can you see all that juice? That's the benefits of injecting. Look at that. That's exactly how you want it. Perfect pull, juicy, tender. Well, hey guys, thank you for joining me. I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite of this and slice the rest of this brisket. If you're not subscribed already, what are you waiting for, man? Smash that subscribe button. Click that bell so you guys don't miss a thing. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace!